I want to show you a flight of this rocket that went unstable and then after you watch it I'll explain what you just saw. Okay. Quest uh, C12 on A8 going up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. What you saw in that video was how the simple timer saved the flight of that rocket. Now, the story behind this goes that we were testing that simple timer on that day because it was a new product and we wanted to figure out if it worked and how well it worked. Well, we built this rocket, uh, we call it the TTV, which stands for Timer Test Vehicle, specifically for those tests. And all day long, we were flying the rocket as a two-stage rocket, testing the timer portion of the rocket. But one of the features of the simple timer is that it has an apogee detection circuit in it. So as the rocket goes horizontal, it figures out that the rocket has reached its maximum altitude and it's time to deploy the parachute. Well, for the last flight of the day, we decided to test this. Um, so what we did was we took the rocket motor and we pulled the ejection charge out. Um, now we did that for a specific reason because we didn't know whether the ejection charge was de deploying the parachute or the timer was deploying the parachute because the, the TTV rocket has the ejection charge of the rocket motor can eject the parachute at the same time as the timer ejects it. So we wanted to eliminate that variable. So we pulled the ejection charge out and we just launched it as a single stage just to see would it eject. But unbeknownst to us, the rocket, when it took off, went unstable. And that just completely blew our minds because all day long, we were flying the rocket as a two stage and the upper stage was going stable. But when the rocket was launched from static position, it had no velocity. And because the fins of the, the rocket that we were flying were fairly small, it wasn't quite stable enough, particularly because we um, had the timer mounted in the back of the rocket along with the battery, so the center of gravity was pretty far back. And that's why it went unstable. Uh, we have since redesigned the rocket, so if you get the current TTV, you will notice that the fins on the upper stage are much larger, so that if you launch it as a single stage with electronics on board, it will fly stable. But on that particular flight, it went unstable. And so we were expecting the rocket to go up, coast real high, and then when it reached Apogee, uh, we were expecting the parachute to come out. But it came up and immediately went unstable. And you saw in the video that the parachute popped out right when the nose got to about right there. Um, it worked. You know, it, I was totally unex, unexpected. Um, so we are now calling this the quick stop recovery system. Um, hopefully you will never need this, but if your rocket goes unstable and you have a simple timer in it, it's going to save that flight. Um, and since we've done that flight, um, I've launched other rockets. Um, in fact, I, I, the current version of the TTV, I launched it with a low thrust motor in the booster and it just lumbered off the pad. And it did stage just fine, but it staged not quite at 45 degrees, but it was pretty close. And I knew this rocket was going off a long way that way. But as soon as the timer sensed that it was at Apogee, it popped that parachute. Um, and it saved that flight as well. So I can't say enough about the simple timer and just this one feature of Apogee detection. So if you need something that has Apogee detection in it, get the simple timer. Uh, 
I know there's other devices like altimeters that will sense apogee, but this one is unique because it doesn't, you know, a, a regular altimeter requires the rocket to pass a certain altitude before it will initialize. Um, it does that so it doesn't have a false liftoff. Um, because a gust of wind coming along while the rocket's sitting on the pad what might trigger the rocket to think that, that it's taken off. And so what the altimeter manufacturers do, they set a minimum distance from the launch pad that the rocket has to achieve before it will arm itself. But the simple timer doesn't have that in there. A normal alt altimeter might be 40 or 50 feet up in the air. As you saw in that video, this rocket never made it past 30 feet. So a regular altimeter wouldn't have caught it. So again, that simple timer has that extra feature that you won't find in other devices. So if you need the simple timer, you'll find it here at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com.